guys and welcome to your November 2019. This is going to be the Divine Energy Oracle message for the beautiful sign of Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hello, hello, Leos. I certainly hope that this month, this Mercury retrograde in the sign of Scorpio it finds you well and in good spirits. Let's get started. Leo, you are crossing this month with a Taurus. Taurus got this exact same message back in September. So this is a energy that is very near and dear to your heart. And it happened very recently because this is November. So two months ago, you could have been put in a situation which calls for you to take the lead. Only you know what this means, take the lead. So crossing with the Taurus energy, if we can just go ahead and get into what's different. You are fixed fire. That's it, fixed fire. And this is fixed earth. So when you're crossing with fixed earth, this lets me know that possibly when it comes down to a situation that calls you to take the lead, maybe you're being guided instead of, acting on fixed impulses maybe you're being um guided to take a step back and take the lead based upon what makes sense from a practical perspective because you're 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 fixed so make the decision based on something that is practical that's proven that is logical rather than impulsive based on the first thing that flew out of your mouth or the first thing that you felt maybe that's it Again, take the lead. Let's find out what happens. And remember, if you are crossing with another energy, I will only read the divine invitation. We're only going to focus on um, what you need to do to get you one step closer to your divine energy. I invite you, please, to go back and watch the September message for Taurus on Channel 2. That's where it is and find out what Taurus was dealing with and who they were crossing with and you can get the message. Now, if they cross with somebody, you'll have to do a little digging, um, but this is enough. So let's get started. So Leo, your divine invitation is to allow your love of life to prevail over current negativity and cynicism. I told you. Be the beacon OK, the beacon that eliminates darkness and ignites the sleepy imaginations of those around you, not to show off or be the center of attention, Leo, but as the leader who keeps others from losing heart and spirit, shine on and spread your wings. Do not wait to be invited. Let your light speak for itself. You are um, being thrusted upon the situation, Leo. I believe that's not yours. Now, Taurus could be around you. Taurus could be in your chart um, or Taurus can actually represent a person. But it sounds like it's probably a situation that's an interpersonal situation that includes more than one person. It sounds like it's a situation, Leo, that is calling for you to um, step away from your own nature of being naturally cynical and naturally sarcastic and start to step away and be fixed and firm. Yes, absolutely. You do that. You do that anyway, really naturally, but do it from a practical perspective and not a negative perspective. Unfortunately, there are some zodiac signs that are just naturally um, um, cynical and more pessimistic than others. That's just the nature of the of the beast. But again, as I was just explaining in the Cancer video, if you are a Leo Sun, then what's going to make this either harder or or um, easier for you is what is driving your emotional nature. If you're a Leo rising. It becomes a little bit harder because you can have a completely different sun sign and moon sign. And the same goes for the Venus sign. If you have a Leo Venus, you can have a completely different personality. You can love completely different with the moon. And then the outward way in which people see you can be a totally different sign. So you have to combine all of that together, which is going to be the perfect cocktail of what makes you you. So I feel like this is an opportunity for you to rise above uh, what the status quo is or what you've been doing in the situation. This feels like work for me. And if it's not, work is a, is a second runner up. It really feels like family, something personal, um, something where your opinion matters, something where you're, you have been looked upon in the past to put something to rest or put, 
not necessarily put it to rest, but your opinion matters to these people, okay? And I feel like this is a situation where you can rise above and be diplomatic and not allow your own cynicism and your negativity because we all can be. So don't take that the wrong way, Leo. But you know you have a tendency of looking at a situation, and this is for Leo's son. Actually, it's for all of them, but you have a tendency, um, a nature. I don't like tendency, but you have a nature, the, the, the natural nature of you is to be able to look at a situation and instantly be like, oh, it's this or, or it's that. Be careful because that's how things get misconstrued as being negative. That's how your opinion is misconstrued as being um, uh, gossipy. You have to be careful when you do that because people look to your opinion. You are a Leo and that's a good thing. So you're being guided to take the lead, but take the lead in a nice, practical, positive way. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope that message um, definitely hit home. And I feel like it's definitely going to hit home because there's something that's about to brew with this Mercury retrograde and Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, you already know that energy, it can bring up all sorts of stuff. And this is retrograde. So from the past, it might be coming up. It might be arguments in your family. You're going to be in the middle of it. Okay, please take the lead and do what's right. So uh, please look out over the next couple of days for your videos um, where I'm going to tell you how this Mercury retrograde in the sign of Scorpio is affecting you, okay? Um, and I hope that it resonated. So if you want to roll readings, please, I encourage you to check out my uh, Readings with Marvelous Madame channel, channel one. And I will see you guys next month when we do it again. I'm going to be bringing you your year-end message. I'm going to be bringing you your Divine Energy Oracle year in review video. And I'm going to be introducing the new deck as we will be doing these monthly, just like we've been doing with a brand new deck moving forward in 2020. Bye, Leo. I'll see you guys here when we do it again. Bye-bye.